Good afternoon, VNTV and everyone. Uh, Kim Yung Phu xin chào quý vị ở VNTV và mọi người. Um, hôm nay uh, we have a very special show. Uh, we talk about something that everyone going through each day, um, and we also gonna talk about how do you overcome stress and trauma in your life, and how do you maintain to not go back to stress. And that will be the two key. Um, item that we will talk about today, and today we also have my uh, host, uh, Kwa, Dr. Thank Kwa, you. and welcome to the show thank, again, thank you. and then welcome Mindy to the mm -hmm. show, and please um, have some words. Yeah, so we go through life, you know, tough, there's tough times that everyone encounters, so the thing is, tough times, they never last, but what lasts are tough people, so we want to give you guys strategies, what helps with us, and you know, our motto today is never give up, so I want to platform for our special hosts and best special guest Mindy Focal. She is a San Diego real estate broker and I want you to give us a little brief introduction of yourself please to our audience. Uh, hi everyone uh, my name is Mindy Focal. I am a business owner and I am a mom as well. Um, life is pretty tough right being um, um, a business owner mm -hmm. and a working mom and taking care of the family it's a uh, it's, um, yeah, stressful. It definitely. Mm -hmm. I know there's been times in your life that you. I want you to kind of share what what keeps you going. You know, I know you, you can share whatever you like in terms of your own personal experience, but I know personally that you've dealt with some very difficult things. Yeah. So uh, as of uh, 2019, July 2019, I am officially an orphan. Oh gosh. Yeah. So I lost both of my parents um, this year, April That's and tough. July. Yeah. Um, just the last 10 years, a lot of dramas and, uh, and um, um, stressful events that, mm -hmm. you know, that I've gone through. I have two kids and, um, you know, first relationship and, you know, mm -hmm. divorce and then my daughter had some health issues oh, okay. and then my parents have health, you know, health yeah. issues and then why run in the business? I have to deal with all sure. of that. That's a lot of stress long. too. Yes. Yeah, so, um, like we were saying, uh, mojo in life is mm -hmm. um, never to give up. If you ever give up. Right? Mm -hmm. You know, it's, um, we appreciate that you share, you know, the, a lot of things that went through in your life for the past 10 years. It's hard for people to even uh, talk, it, talk about it because mm -hmm. most people will say, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. So and then they just suppress all of that sadness inside of them and that's right. how people get into depression mm -hmm. and then that depression will get deeper and they don't know how to get out of it and we really appreciate that you share your personal um, um, dilemma or we say difficulties right. in life, hardship. Um, we all have that and then in many different ways but my question to you it is um, not just family, parent, um, your kid going through health issue, you go through a divorce and all of that, they always say, when it rain, it pour. Mm -hmm. um, at that time, when everything just collapsed right in front of you and, and you feel so hopeless, what is the one thing that motivates you to not give up? It's a great question. Wow. Um, my children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, they, are, they are my priority. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, at the same time, actually, my parents are also my priority, mm -hmm. you know, grown up, yeah. the oldest child in the family, yeah. and uh, it, it, it is expected that you take care of your parents and your children. Mm -hmm. That's the most, the most important things that you have um, in your life. Um, basically, for me, it, it, giving up is not an option, mm -hmm. you know, it's just not an option. There are people in your life that depend on you, mm -hmm. and uh, I have days of um, you know sending my kids off to school. I just you know sat in the corner and and cry for hours, mm. and then I get up. I wiped up my tears mm -hmm. and get back I up. get back up. Uh, but the first thing you need to do, right? Like you, your question was, what do you do? Um, what your sick, motivation? Right. How do you get out of this? What, yeah. what your reasons? You know, to be sick better in life. Help. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. Is the person that everyone should do it just to seek help to let people know that you need help mm -hmm. is you don't be afraid um, yeah. you have core people in your life your friends your best friends it's it's you know best mm -hmm. friends are so important for you those some of those core people that could keep your um, your stuff confidential you know mm -hmm. you have to have some confidence in that in your life that you trust seek therapy mm -hmm. 
you know, that's the key that you mentioned. Number one, you go to somebody you trust. Yes. That's the most important because you share something that's so personal to you. You want to make sure the person that listen also don't use it against you or give you bad advice. Mm -hmm. That's number Correct. one. Yeah. Number two, seek therapy. And, and as Asian American, um, as we understand our culture, we don't talk about sadness. Mm -hmm. We we suck it in and we just life go on. Right. So we never really express our feeling because if we do, then we feel like we complaining and we're not being hard on ourselves because we're always being hard on ourselves because mm -hmm. we're supposed to be handling everything exactly. as a woman, yeah. as a mom, as a working business owner. So our expectation to ourselves and also our society and our parents is so, so high that sometimes we feel like if we say something that we're not feeling well, we actually fail being a good children to, to our parent or fail right. to be a good person to our kids. So I think that's at the two key. Now, my second question to you is, you know, you have kids. So mm -hmm. a lot of people don't have kids. So what is your advice to them if they don't have kids? What, is that, what should they look for to be motivated enough to get out of the depression and say, you know what, I can, I can do this. I, I can be better and take care of myself and get out of the depression. If they don't have kids, what do you advise for them? Uh, you know, for... For anyone, life is so precious, right? Mm -hmm. And every day we hear people fight, you know, cancer. Mm -hmm. You know, people are sick um, in the hospital. I've had my good shares of, you know, being in the hospital with my parents. They were fighting for their lives. And to me, to everybody that is alive, it's, it's so, life is so precious. Just be so thankful that we are alive yeah. and, and and some of us are regular, you know pretty healthy mm -hmm. like you <laughs> try to, to be yeah but, uh, going to course. the gym at four o'clock uh, in the morning no not that maybe five maybe oh five. five yes and so the advice is dude <laughs> the okay. advice is, is um just work on yourself you are precious and you are worth it yes just yes. to be alive so seek help and uh, um find a core group of friends mm -hmm. exercise mm -hmm. eat healthy okay. um, cry cry all you want mm -hmm. and wipe your tear off mm -hmm. and get up and do it let me also add to that a uh, little bit so first of all I appreciate your strength because we've been friends for a while and I, I've seen we're friends on Facebook and I've seen the things that you've been through in life and I really admire your strength because in my, my personal if I lost my parent like that oh gosh I don't I don't even want to fathom to think about it um, but you mentioned some really key points about exercise, about positive thinking, right? We, we talked about positive thinking, about mm -hmm. kindness in previous episodes. Um, I give, I want, my advice would be find things, that, find that passion that makes your heart skip a beat, right? Find something that makes your, something could be exercise, for me it was like riding bikes, right? right? Yeah. Motorcycling, something that really gets you up and going, so right? basically to charity. Find, yeah, find an outlet. Find an outlet, Absolutely. exactly. An outlet that, an outlet work that works you. for you. So it may work for you that you're caring with your motivation and mm -hmm. your salvation. Mm -hmm. uh, you exercise, mm -hmm. having friends. So yeah. just find the outlet that actually works for you. Right. It's not one one size fits all. Exactly. So everyone has different. Everything, yes. Everyone has different needs, and and look for that. But the key is to admit mm -hmm. that you actually going through something hard. So that you can actually deal with the sadness and the feeling, and so that you can share that feeling mm -hmm. with someone, so you're not actually suppress it underneath and not even realize you're going through depression mm -hmm. yourself. Right. Um, you know, the the key not just knowing, be aware of when you depress, and then be able to find a way to get over or get out of it. The key they also to not going back to depression mm -hmm. because right. you have seen so many people going through depression, oh, it's terrible. It's and terrible. they keep going back mm -hmm. because they. One day they feel so much better, and then they have so much energy being that new person of themselves. And then the other day they go back right into depression because they haven't deal with their core mm -hmm. reason why they sad. The, the root cause. The root cause, cause of, of the it. sadness. So yeah. how do you um, be able to maintain and balance your business, um, being a mother, you know, your family needs and and your self need and still. Yeah be able to be happy today not going back to where you were during the past 10 years so for me within that past 10 years i have always um maintained it mm -hmm. because every day is something going on mm -hmm. um you know the responsibility is so large for me 
as a mom and as a daughter and as, as mm -hmm. a, a parent, the only parent that raised the kids. And so um, maintaining this um, to, to trying to be focused on my goal is mm -hmm. to raise my children. Because it's just, it's so they are so important in life that mm -hmm. I just I, I can't even allow myself to yeah. go back to anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, you're sad, you're sad. They're your you source of happiness. Yeah, within your they, heart, yeah, your soul. That's true. Right? Yeah. And 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 it's basically they are the people that depend on you. Mm -hmm. So um, this kind of feelings, you know, the, the drama feelings and the loss is um, the sadness is go always going to be there. Mm -hmm. It's you know it it'll get yeah. it'll get so better as time sure. goes, but sure. you know you go back to memories, you think yeah, about the past, and then and you try to be positive, mm -hmm. you know, be positive, do think, do do good things for other people. That's just so important too, because that make you feel good. Then and you know you pay it forward. Mm -hmm. You take care of other people um, in a form of take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. But you can't just you know sometimes you can push everybody aside and you just take care of yourself too. You know, so I, you? I, I think you're right. And like, you know, to just summarize what you want to share with us is that number one, you have to have the schedule. So have some set of schedule that you mm -hmm. can follow each day that keep you going and, and seeing that if you have the right schedule, you make the right decision that actually build up your confidence that you know what, I can do this so I can move on to the next day and doing the same thing or even something better to make your life better. And, and another thing is, you know, if you don't have that, how can you appreciate life? Mm -hmm. Correct. So, so you mm -hmm. have to, it's an inevitable to not feel and sad. And mm -hmm. it's an inevitable to not have stress, mm -hmm. trauma in our it's life. Li it's life. Because it's, it's life. life. It's life. Life it's evolves life. and we're not immortal. Uh, so mm -hmm. we, we need to understand that if we know that we live forever, we nev never appreciate anything. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, but we know yeah. that life is just, mm -hmm. you know, yes. short. Yeah. And we know that this is, this is something we have to do the best we mm -hmm. could. And then you touch into responsibility. Mm -hmm. if, if we don't have responsible, we don't responsible for other people that in our life that we care for, then mm -hmm. you may as well give up. Yeah. Right. So it's, it's yeah. a key. You don't want to take things for granted. No, I mean, not. it's definitely, you, yeah. Yeah. I want to, um, you just talked about the importance and the brevity of life. I, there's, a, yeah. there's a quote I want to share with our audience. It's from a movie called Troy. Uh -huh. And Achilles said this. I won't. I, I'm not quoting word for word, but it's along the lines of the gods envy us because we're mortal, because our la next breath could be our last. Yeah. That's what makes life so beautiful. <laughs> yes, right. So that, beautiful. Yeah, it's along those lines. But mm -hmm. like you mentioned, and, and you know, there's so much beauty in this world. We just gotta Absolutely. find it. But there's also darkness, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. it, the darkness can be within ourselves. So our mind is the most powerful for one of the most powerful forces in the universe. So it can make us the happiest, or it can make us the saddest. Um, but we can really make a difference by sharing the love, right? Love is very mm -hmm. important. Kindness, love, yep. and just really caring for each other because, you know, there is a lot of darkness right now in this world that we can share the love. So, um, the reason we brought up um, the drama, the stress um, today, because we know that a lot of people out there is going through it right now or have been going through it. And, and some people don't know how to really overcome all the trauma mm -hmm. and stress. So today we will want to share with you to mention that number one, the key to don't give up, mm -hmm. to reach out to your friends, uh, to seek therapy, and to know that as long as you be able to breathe, that is the mm -hmm. best thing in life. And that you should never, um, how do you, you know, you should never not doing the thing that you should do for yourself. Mm -hmm. So you always take care of yourself, take care of other, and, and be happy for just today. Mm -hmm. yep. And then you can move on and take care of tomorrow. So I want to summarize. I want to thank you for your advice, Mindy. It was wonderful and sharing your experiences with us. I'm going to leave everyone with another one quote from one of my favorite movies, Titanic. Uh -huh. uh, Jack Dawson uh -huh. was played by Leonardo DiCaprio. And you remember his character, um, you know, very carefree. He didn't have a single dime in his pocket. Uh -huh. But uh, he was along the dinner table, and then a lot of these older people were making fun of him, like belittling him because he didn't have any. He was sitting along with, you know. Uh, but anyways, he shared this thing that really stuck with me. He said, uh, they asked him why, you know, how can he just live like a lifestyle where, you know, he doesn't have any money in his pocket. But he says, as long as there's air in my lungs, and he loves to paint, and so he has his sketchbook, he's happy. And so just that, right, he appreciates life.
And so we can all appreciate life. And we, we all know tough times come. Uh, that's inevitable. Always. Um, but, you know, stay strong. Never give up. And please seek help if you need to. And we're always here. So. And, and we speak on our own experience. We all went through trauma. We all go through and very we're tough here, times. And we're very happy and we enjoy our life. So I hope you could do the same. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.